I mentioned earlier the Constitution and the rights that Australians have. And fundamental to any democracy is the right of the people to choose the person that they want to appoint to protect their rights under that Constitution. And the role and the person that has that responsibility is the head of state. That is the role of the head of state, to protect the rights of citizens from misguided governments and misadventure from governments under a constitution. And in democracies, that right is cherished. It is fundamental to that democracy. Yet in Australia, Australian citizens who pay their taxes, who contribute to our society, do not have that right. It is a right that is given by birth in a foreign country, not by the citizens of the nation under that constitution. And that needs to change. Yeah. And it needs to change and people often say, oh, well, what does it matter? We've got a governor general. Uh, he or she is our head of state. They are not our head of state. It mentions it in the first paragraph of the constitution that the queen or the king of England is our head of state. And the Governor-General swears allegiance to the King or Queen of England. If you are under 40 in Australia, you have never voted in a referendum. If you are under 60, you've never voted in a successful referendum. <laughs> we are out of practice when it comes to constitutional reform, and it is a long journey that we are now taking. But rest assured, friends, that journey has now begun. And we need your assistance and we need your support if we're going to get there. The final point I'd like to make is about the Australian identity. When the Elizabethan era began, we were British. We held British passports. We didn't have Australian citizenship. We sang God Save the Queen. We were a British nation. The Australia of modern today is a very, very different nation. We are a multicultural nation where more than 50% of Australians are either born overseas or have one parent born overseas. We are a nation that is economically linked to the Asia Pacific region. We get our security relationship through ANZUS Alliance with the United States and New Zealand. We are no longer a British nation and we should reflect our unique culture, our unique identity by finally having one of our own as our head of state to represent who we are in modern day Australia. Yeah. Yeah.